My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be doing a repair on this Makita corded tool. Here we've got this hammer drill from Makita and made a mistake on a job site and cut the cord. So you can see here, I cut this cord and completely severed that white wire. And uh, it was actually while I was not running the tool, I ended up cutting this. So I'm going to fix this cord and I get this uh, tool back up and running. This tool is about a hundred and hundred dollars, hundred and thirty dollar tool, and uh, I got a twenty dollar solution, and I got a free solution. So let's uh, dig into it. So here's my twenty dollar solution. This is a part I ordered online, uh, Makita brand supposedly, or uh, Makita repair part, twenty bucks online ready to go, designed for this tool. Uh, it's just a simple cord. Looking at it, it's not identical to the Makita, um, but it uh, can replace it most definitely. Um, so, in the past, I've just gone to Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, picked up an extension cord, some sort of cord. You're gonna be in this $10, $20 price range anyways, um, but I wanted to go uh, with the correct part this time, specifically designed for this. Come to find out, didn't need to do that. Um, but uh, we'll show you it more. So, kind of did this uh, tool repair backwards. Hopefully you can learn from my mistake. So, uh, made the mistake of cutting the cord. Again, made the mistake of uh, not just trying to repair it in the first place. So, here is that tail that I removed. Uh, here we've got about 14 inches. And uh, keep in mind, this was actually a pretty long cord. And uh, you're gonna be using an extension cord of this type of tool anyways. So, um, I ended up just cutting this end off and re-splicing it making these ends new and rewiring it. Works perfect. Should have just done that to begin with. Uh, that's your free solution. Free solution, take a you know a foot or two off the end. If it's close to the end there where it goes in, you're good to go. Uh, you can also, I've got a plug install video for a vacuum. You could also, if it's close to the plug side, you could actually install a new plug on the end. Um, Three to five dollar option there. Um, so pretty inexpensive. In this case, worked out perfect. It was really close to the, the drill itself. Snipped off the end, scooted the end closer, rewired up, three three screws on the outside, two internal screws holding the cord in place, uh, keep it from getting pulled out, oh, and then two really small screws that hold uh, the wires together. So first step on this is to diagnose the problem. See where the break is, see what the solution is. Uh, if you don't know what a good solution is, just start tearing it apart. Um, you know, this tool, like I said, a $100 tool, it's going in the garbage if you can't plug it in and use it, so you might as well start taking it apart and using it whether it's a hammer drill or something else. In this case, it was super simple and easy to remove three screws. I uh, used this new uh, Kimo uh, cordless drill uh, ordered, and uh, so far so good. It's not the, the greatest, it's not the most ergonomic tool, uh, but I've got a kind of an unboxing video on that. Um, but, but I unscrewed these three screws, pulled off this cover plate, and now we can see the internals, really see what we're dealing with here, see what uh, possible repairs we're looking at. Looking a little bit further, uh, we see that we've got two more screws holding uh, the cover on, holding this cord in place. So this cord just gets pinched in place and that just keeps, uh, when you're tugging on the cord, it keeps it from getting pulled out of the tool, it keeps those wires together. So uh, remove these two additional screws and the, the wire uh, going into the tail end is loose. Now we've just got where it's crimped in uh, to the tool. We've got those two really small screws, loosen those up and the wire pulls right out. Uh, in this case, I looked at it and said, hey, no reason to, to put on this brand new cord, I'll throw it in the box. Throw that extra cord in the box, I've got it there. But I uh, ended up deciding just to snip it, uh, re-splice it. So I, I cut cut the end off, just shy of the break here. Uh, cut it off, pulled off uh, about two, three inches of insulation, yanked that off, and then uh, removed the little internal coat, protective coating. They've got like a little soft um, rope type substance in there to, to, just to kind of fill in the cord, keep it round, and just give your wires some extra protection, some padding, insulation. So, pulled that out, cut that out, uh, spliced off about a half an inch on the ends, ran it into place, rewired it up, put my uh, two crimp screws back in, put my two um, clamp screws in internally, uh, set the rubber piece in place. So on the end here, you just got this little rubber piece, and that just kind of helps uh, as this goes into the unit keeps it from breaking. Uh, that's a common place. In fact, my uh, Milwaukee uh, skill saw, um, that's where it always breaks. I end up doing a big old uh, wrap of electrical tape, 
but I, I actually may just end up looking up and see what a, a new one of these costs for that tool. Uh, maybe get a new cord from that one um, because that one goes out every about every two years or so. Um, but yeah, just got a little rubber piece, set that rubber piece in place. Now I'm able to put the cover back on. Put the three cover screws on, screw back together, and we're ready to go. Brand new tool essentially. Honestly, I could take it back to the original purchasing place. I could sell it online. Nobody would honestly know that this is not an original tool. Um, so it's going to function as as new as original. Um, not trying to deceive anyone, but uh, just saying it's a it's in a good condition now. Couple tips for this video. Pay attention to where your tools are at. In this case, I was putting in some paper patios, and I uh, had my angle grinder out, zipping across pavers, and had this tool laying nearby. Well, I must have uh, zinged my grinder too close to it and took out the cable. It's unfortunate, but it happens. I honestly don't know when it happened. Sometimes when you have a, a hit like this, you're using the tool and then you lose power. In this case, I wasn't using the tool. Uh, I just looked at it at the end of the day when I was cleaning it up and I was like, oh boy, it's completely severed. You're gonna have to replace that. In fact, if we look here, you kind of can see, you can kind of see some feathering in there. Kind of a weird looking. But stuff happens. Um, it's all fixed now, good as new and uh, we'll be more careful next time. So hopefully you learn from this. Uh, if you've done the same mistake as I did, and uh, be careful with where you're putting stuff, careful with your cords, they're pretty fragile. Uh, thanks for watching this Thrifty Garage video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below, hit the notification bell, and thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. We'll see you on the next one. Okay, I talked about it. How can I not show and tell this beautiful uh, piece of artwork here? This is a hand-me-down tool. Uh, got this, uh, inherited this uh, tool. And uh, this thing is an animal. This is Milwaukee, there's a model number. And I got this for free. And what was bad with it was the cord here. So you can see how I've just mega wrapped this. I've got wires in here, all sorts of stuff because this is where it always goes bad. So I, I'd love to look at seeing how much a replacement is for this. It's kind of a heavy tool, um, but I just buy a, a, a cord. Looks like this one got busted out or I, I pulled it out, but I just go to Home Depot, buy an extension cord, cut it off and wire it up the right length and I'm good to go. Um, this is the second cord I put on it since I got it for free. And I've done many projects with this, just picked up the DeWalt um, my wife picked up a DeWalt a miter saw, but I've been using this to cut 2x4s for years now. Um, great tool. Use what you got. It's what I do. Peace out. See you in the next video. Welcome to the channel. Going up. My name is what? My name is who? My name is Fred. My name is George Makita Hammer Drill. Hammer time. Do 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 do.